Now, you might be thinking right now, well, wait a minute, we're in the hospitality industry. We understand about customers' emotional needs. I understand you understand. That doesn't change the fact that the natural tendency is to focus on the physical needs. And if you don't believe me, check the customer service card that you leave in your hotel rooms. Or you send out afterwards. I see a bunch of them. They all tend to say the same thing. Please indicate how well we did on each of the following. Was your room clean? Yes. Was the bed comfortable? Yes. Did the TV work? Yes. Was the staff nice? Yes. If you ordered from room service, was the food hot? Yes. I send it in, someone at the other end goes, we got five out of five! Look at that! They love us! How many of those people who give you five out of five on that survey are going to do what my colleague did, pick up the phone, call a friend and say, I got to tell you, this hotel I stayed at last week, you won't believe it. Well, the room was clean, the bed was comfortable, the TV worked, the staff was nice, and the room service food was hot. How many are going to do that? <laughs> Nobody! Nobody! Except one weirdo from Split Lip, Nebraska, who's just happy he got out of the house, but he doesn't have any friends to tell about it anyway. <laughs> All that means, folks, is they're willing to come back. It doesn't mean they're going to come back. And then what happens is when they need somebody, they look on the list, and what do they say? Which one is cheapest? And you're on your way to becoming a commodity. See, I think if you want to ensure that the customer comes back or make it more likely that they come back, what you've got to do is shift the phrase that's in your head. 